Right, the first topic is Dricos Duplessis saying I will manhandle Israel Adesanya. All right, so I'm going to be quoting Israel from his interview with uh, Submission Radio. That's the guys down in Australia. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Um, oi, oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> he... <laughs> All right, here's the quote. Uh, he was asked about the easy fight and he said, the easy fight is a fight where I'm, I honestly believe that I would have grabbed him and I would have manhandled him. To be honest, I know he was. I know he has good good takedown defense, but I don't think people understand the difference between myself and Israel Adesanya. If I would have grabbed him, it would have been a very long night. Well, no, it would have been a short night. Basically, what he's saying is, uh, if he for for Izzy, he probably is going to grapple heavy. And he also said Israel got good good striking, but he cannot knock me out. So he also hinted on the on the striking of Izzy as well. But something I must point out is this isn't the first time that Izzy um Dracos did mention manhandling Izzy. Uh, I do remember he had an interview with Schmo just before his fight with Whitaker, which was his biggest fight in his career. He did mention that him and Izzy might have sparred or actually have sparred a long time ago, a couple of years ago, earlier in their careers in Thailand, where he manhandled Izzy. And Izzy did mention also on his YouTube channel, Freestyle Bender, he did say that they did um, spar, but uh, Drikos got the better of the grappling in and he picked him apart while striking. So we don't know who's saying what and who's saying whatever. But uh, before we get into uh, the the other things that Drickers was saying in the interviews, what do you think about this remark of him manhandling Easy? Uh, before before you answer, I have to remind people that, as you know, Demola King Dems is the president of Israel Adesanya fan club. There is a easy mechanism in his head that he cannot get away from, so he would not be able, or he is incapable of saying anything wrong or anything bad about easy but i'm giving you a chance to tell us if you think that drakos can actually manhandle easy what do you say brother okay uh so thing is like you said you rightly said i'm president israel adi says fans association but uh i can always be objective you know have my objective um heart on so in this in, in this uh scenario I, i've been smiling you know trying to control myself from, from talking right because this is a shooter wooda kuda kind of situation right uh they actually sparred a long time ago and the truth is, the truth is, if you if you look at somebody the way you looked at them m many years ago, you are in for a rude awakening, right? Uh, th th there's a proverb in Yoruba language that says, "Eniba fujo no woku ebora bolasho," meaning anybody who looks at a uh, like a dead person, right, like when they were alive, like yesterday, right they will be amazed by a ghost the ghost is going to take off your clothes so basically these two guys <laughs> these two guys have actually been on an upward and forward trajectory in their careers right so the you can't be judging israel at this one based on the israel at this one five years ago so i think there are two different beasts at this time right so i think all right let's talk about the easy <laughs> of right now the easy that you saw with <laughs> that fought sean strickland the that easy Against okay, the, the version, the, the version of easy, easy that's that, that fought Sean, right? I think, yeah, um, uh, I said Strickland, um, Dricos, Dricos would have gotten a better uh, of that version of easy, but then that is not that easy was not fighting Dricos because if easy were fighting Dricos, I believe the motivation would be different. So, whenever these two guys collide. Trust you me, are so incapable easy. of saying He's anything going wrong. to get the better of because <laughs> any time any place any day trust me the motivation is different all right so we know that easy is in the later stage of his career i wouldn't say he is at his peak so i'm not sure if age is actually catching up to him now or if there was a lingering issue heading into the strickland fight or if there was, as you said, lack of motivation, because I do remember that in the is uh, in the Strickland fight during the build-up, all of us were anticipating like, oh, the press conference is gonna be amazing. 
And the press pro- press conference came. And Dracos was, I mean, Strickland was like Strickland, pouring it yeah. on easy and easy was like being chilled, like big boy. I was like, dude, where is the motivation? Where is the back and forth that we thought we were going to get? He felt like Strickland it wasn't on his level. Yeah, like, that, that's who, a thing. That, that is so, a and then, you know? and then it was, it was one of those cases where even Manuel Cap upstaged easy in that press conference because to my to me i think manuel cap didn't did win that press conference if there's any winner <laughs> from the pe- press conference but um stuck forget right forget all forget all of that i think uh drickers because as mma fans and mma casuals that we are because this is a podcast for the casuals isn't it the thing is our brain is how good a fighter is was his last fight. And Izzy's last fight, Izzy's last fight was very ugly. Dracos's last fight was amazing. Right? He put it on. It was an amazing situation. So that being said, Izzy versus Dracos, I think the odd makers are going to even favor Izzy. Eh, sorry, Dracos. The odd makers are going to favor Dracos. And I do believe that Dracos can actually get Izzy out of there. But I don't think it's going to be grappling. I think if Dracos takes Easy out of there, it's probably striking because of how heavy, how powerful his hands are. Um, I yeah, I, I, I don't believe just, that anyways. I don't believe that. Let me you just... Know, last week, last, just last week when I was talking mm-hmm. with Rafian's thoughts, right? He says something about the mentality of fighters, right? If you're fighting somebody that you dislike, that you hate, right? The motivation is different. So I believe the motivation is going to be different, and you you will see that will happen. Uh, I I will manifest it, and easy by no. I'm gonna say I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna interrupt you real quick. UFC super fan says drop the link. I'm not sure what he meant. If you meant the Patreon link, it's in our bio right now. The link of our Patreon is in our bio. Please feel free to hop in there. Um, yeah. So also talking about the interviews, I'm going to say this. Yeah, let's assume the 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 easy thing they didn't happen with Dracos and all that sensitivity around it. Dracos is really a stand up guy in the sense that if you listen to him talk, you actually be a fan of him. He actually sounds like a very disciplined and a likable guy when you listen to him. Like for example, he was asked about Israel Adesanya. Uh, sorry, he was asked about Usman when Usman called him out just after he lost to Chimaev, and he did saying nice nice things about Usman. He said like Usman is a legend. He believed that at that point Usman thought that Chimaev was Chimaev was gonna get the shot. And he also did say if he gets a chance and it makes sense for him, he would actually fight Usman. So I think I don't think that uh uh sorry I'm just looking at the chat here. Fight Fight Week Showcase says what's good lads what's up Fight Week Showcase shout out to you brother and uh ufc says i'm in the link to join the conversation i'm not really sure which conversation he means there which conversation i mentioned um yeah but before i i get off yeah before i get off the off track i was talking about how imprecable Dricker sounds when he talks in his interviews and when he gives roses even Israel Adesanya he did say I don't like Izzy as a person for obvious reasons of the things that happened but he did say that as a mixed martial artist as a combat combat artist or a disciplinarian in that in that field that he admires him or he respects him basically maybe he didn't say admire exactly so yeah shout out to Drickers. I think I think uh, I think really highly of him and his skills, skill set. And uh, just in this podcast, there's a topic that we are going to get to where I'm very curious to hear what you would have to say, Demola, because Dracos, the cross topic is tr- is going to come back into our conversation. Yes. Okay. Um, UFC Super Fight Fan. When I say join the conversation, I actually meant like in the live chat. Uh, you could you could drop your comment and we could uh, react to them as we proceed in this podcast. All right, uh, Demola, do you have anything to talk about that topic before we go? Okay, before we go, I'll just say that um, no disrespect to uh, Dreekos, right? I respect him. I, I think very, very highly of uh, Dreekos, right? I think he is a well-rounded uh, mixed martial artist, like to, looking at the top 10 um, middleweights, right? Aside from easy, Dreekos is the most well-rounded person in that division. 
and I wish him like very, very good things, great things for his career. And of course, um, in this next fight, right? I in my head, right? I see Dracos as a champion already. I just feel like he's right, like, we'll, get, we'll like... get to that. <laughs> we'll get we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah, I know that inside your heart of hearts, this is the way you say you know really me now. Uh, <laughs> you're not in my heart. <laughs> I wish him well. He's my South African brother, you know. And <laughs> oh yeah. South African oh yeah. Friends. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got Tumbo soon here. What's up, Tumbo soon, brother? He said, man, we don't know much of any fighter as a person as much as they show us. And uh, that's kind of true. Uh, some peop- but some people cannot hide their real selves from what they show us. Like, Sean Strickland is an 